What's up guys, welcome to your 46th Java tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be going over what static variables are and how they're used. So usually whenever you have a class that has objects, each of the variables, um, each object has its own set of variables like first name and I can make um, an object called Bucky and it would have its own first name Bucky and I could have another object named Tommy and it would have its own first name of Tommy but sometimes you want all the objects to share a single variable for example if you're gonna make members of a club and you're gonna like have the club count how many members were in it for example if I was in the club it would be one if Tommy was in the club it would be if me and Tommy were in the club it would be two if me Tommy and Megan were in the club it will be three and we each don't need to see that we each don't need an updated variable or a separate variable for three since the members in the club is all the same so for example there's some variables that you just can share and you're saying alright why don't you just write a separate variable for each object and update it well that takes a lot of time and space so um, you'll see what static is by the end of this tutorial and it's one of the most useful things that I actually taught you so far so listen up in this tutorial we're going to be building a club of course and the club is going to be of hot girls that I would like to go out with. And yes, they will be famous. And no, I will never go out with them. So let's go ahead and make a couple uh, regular variables first. For each object, it gets its own private string. And let's go ahead and put like first for first name. And then go ahead and put private string and last for last name. And now we need to give them a variable that they can share. So go ahead and put private and put static and that static keyword means that every um, object shares the same variable so when this one changes it changes the all objects and before if you change one objects first name that only that objects first name changed but when you change a static variable they change with all objects so if I change this to four then all objects would see four got it good so static int and we'll have members of our club and we'll initialize the zero so without building anything we have zero members in our club so next let's go ahead and make our constructor so public um, our class name is tuna and it's going to take two arguments string first name and string last name this is how we're going to insert members in our club and in our constructor just put first equals first name last equals last name and let's just go ahead and put something like members plus plus so each time we add a member it adds one to our members variable so after we add our first member members will equal one when we add our second member members will equal two so next let's just go ahead and system out print format and our format will be something like Again, you can be creative with this if you want. Um, constructor for, make sure you spell it wrong, percent %s, percent %s. So it will be constructor for Bucky Roberts. Um, and then we'll have members in the club. And then put like colon, percent %d, and then a new line. So we're going to have like constructor for Megan Fox, members in the club one constructor for Natalie Portman members in the club two easy enough so now we need to put first of course last in members and I spelled that wrong m-e-m-b-e-r-s members members oh, that's a pretty catchy tune alright now let's go ahead and write some more methods that are going to come in handy first we need something to get their first name so public actually let me think about this for this tutorial I'm teaching you is constructors right so we probably don't even need these yet but we sure do in the next tutorial so let's go ahead and in this apples and in our main function right here let's go ahead and make some members so let's go ahead and make member one tuna because it's in the new class member one and we'll set it equal to new tuna and of course it takes the arguments again you can see what arguments it takes by this constructor over here a first name and a last name 
So the first name can be Megan, and the last name of girls I want to date club can be Fox. So now what we should have outputted on the screen is, well, might as well just do it. Constructor for Megan Fox and members in the club one. Easy enough. So let's go ahead and make another one now. Um, tuna member two will make another object equals new tuna, and we'll have something like Natalie and then Portman. You don't know who she is? Definitely Google it. And let's go ahead and make one more for fun. Tuna member three equals new tuna, and let's see. Let's get a let's get Taylor. She can join the club too. And Swift. She is a babe with a pretty voice, hottie with body, cutie with booty. Anyways, so we made three different objects. Each one, well, let me run this, sh show you guys that it works, show myself that it works. So we made three different objects right here one for Megan Fox, named member one, one for Natalie Portman, named member two, and one for Taylor, named member three. Each of them has their own set of variables. Let's look at uh, this one, Natalie Portman, member number two. For every um, object, they have their own set of variables right here. Natalie has her own first name right here, and she has her own last name of Portman right here. But they all share this member's variable. And they can, like Megan Fox, this object, she can't see what Natalie's names are, but she can see the members in the club has changed it too. And when Taylor Swift joins the club right here, since it's static, it means all of these objects share the same static variable. So they can all see that the members of the club has changed to three. So that's why static um, variables are useful since, you know, sometimes you just need, and again, if you didn't have this um, on a new train of thought right here, you would have to have a function to update all of these each time but you know why update three separate things one two three and then when a member leaves you would have to update three separate things one two three when you can just have one variable call it static and update it one time so that's your quick tutorial on what static is and why it's useful it pretty much instead of having to update it many times you just call it static and all members or objects can see it so thank you guys for watching this tutorial if you don't understand you will in the next tutorial because we're going to be going over static some more but like i said thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next time